Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Parker. Welcome to my channel. I want to give a quick shout out on my uh, tool haul video to Wrench Trench Garage. Uh, if you haven't been to his channel, please check out his channel and subscribe. This guy does tool haul videos, tool reviews. Um, he's got project cars, vlogs. Uh, he does body work. He, he's been uh, documenting that. He's got project cars. Mustangs, Nissans, all kinds of stuff we get into. And, uh, you know, he does mechanical breakdowns, uh, goes over, you know, some of his trials and tribulations with that. And he's an overall, just a good guy. Um, you know, so check out his channel. I know you'll like him. And uh, please subscribe. Another one is uh, this guy here, Big Dog, 50001. Um, he's cost me quite a few dollars in the past because, uh, I bought stuff that he's reviewed. Uh, so he sent me this, a sticker and a magnet. Um, you know, so I appreciate this mail call and, uh, you know, I'm going to put it on my toolbox and look forward to checking out further videos from him. Check out his channel. He does the same stuff, uh, as many of the other ones do. But he, uh, you know, he, he specifically does a lot of Honda stuff, um, you know, which is really helpful to people that have Hondas. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a great guy also. Um, I bought a Tecton half-inch um, complete socket set from him, uh, because of him. And I uh, have been very, very happy with it. So... Big dog, thank you very much. Um, you know, this here says it all. My kids got me this. And, uh, you know, I'm going to mount it somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet. I got some cool stuff that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Um, first up from uh, Amazon is I'm part now of the... Nipex, Knipex, Nipex, however you want to pronounce it, club. Um, my wife and kids got me this. I'm super excited. This is not the Cobra set. This is the alligator set. Um, you know, it's it's uh, really uh, an awesome, awesome present. Um, these go for 65 bucks on Amazon right now um, for a set of three, which is a really good deal. Um, you know, German. Tear these bad boys open. Ooh, channel locks. Um, water pump pliers. I've heard all different kinds of names for them. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to replacing my cobalt set in my tool cart with these. Um, you know, nothing but good reviews, and I look forward to checking that out. Uh, I didn't really go crazy with uh, uh, Amazon. I only got a couple things. Um, one of the other things that I got is this is an oil filter socket. It's a 3 8 24 millimeter, which is, uh, you know, they're good to have um, because the... Usually the 3 8 only goes up to um, uh, like 20 at the most, usually 20 millimeters, but it's a lower profile. And at first, when I first got it, I only paid five bucks for it on Amazon and shipped for free. So I was really happy Then it came in. I was like, oh man, it's not really low profile. But then when I compared it to my Snap-on 32 mil, it actually isn't much taller than it. Um, you know, it's hard to, to show on camera, but I'll try. But it's only a little bit taller than it. And uh, it's only turning that plastic uh, filter cap. But, you know, I'm excited to add this to the arsenal. But as you see, this is the... Harbor Freight double-ended quarter-inch flex on one end, three-eighth on the other. Um, but 
you know, I'll be able to get in there. I mean, for the Jeep, though, there's nothing really in the way. But should I come across another one that might be a little more difficult, this will be up for the job. Very happy with that. Uh, then um, I went to Lowe's. Now, Lowe's had a bunch of these flags for five bucks. A lot of you guys know that I'm a veteran, an army vet. Uh, this is my army flag. These little guys were five bucks. Um, I still have to order a Coast Guard, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps. But Lowe sells them. Um, if you're interested, check them out. Ah, so this set here, this is, I have not seen this anywhere. Nobody has brought it up on any of the uh, other channels. I haven't seen it on any tool blogs, nothing. So this is a five piece mechanics screwdriver set from Cobalt at Lowe's, 25 bucks. What really attracted me to it was it's got the caps on the end and this thing these there's no way you could gauge it on camera but they are heavy these are some heavy heavy jokers and i mean i typically you know i have milwaukee's and irwin's and uh um, stanley demo screwdrivers and he's got, you know, these have got some decent weight to them, but um, nothing compared to these. And I've never seen any screwdriver set being touted as mechanics screwdriver set. So I'm interested to tear into it. Um, I'm not going to do it on a tool haul video. I'll do it on in an individual review, and then we'll go from there. But uh, part number to look it up, 0525790. Um, the features on the back. You can see that, strong chrome. I have to assume it's full tang, uh, especially by the weight. Um, you know, acetate doesn't really weigh that much, so these things must be ready for some action. Uh, what's next? Um, you guys, my son also, he bought me a few different things. Um, Sears. He bought me this. So this is a rechargeable 35 LED Craftsman, um, which I'm super excited for Craftsman. Now that they've been bought by Stanley, they're reviving their name. They just did their launch, um, like 1,200 new products. Um, you know, Craftsman's near and dear to my heart, very nostalgic. Uh, my first set of, of mechanics tools or any tools really for that matter were craftsmen so I'm really happy for them this one here uh, you know it's got a magnet um, it's rechargeable this will come in handy um, a bunch of different ways so thank you William I love it another gift for my son it was from Home Depot and it was this bad boy right here 14 inch um, it's an s-wing axe and uh, I gotta tell you you know I always wanted one um, you know it's got the leather rings which is a, a neat process I watched these being built um, in the past and uh, you know it's a, it's a very neat neat product and uh, this is gonna go if I ever do uh, finish my bug out bag or just my camping gear. That's where this is going to go So again, thank you William. This was 35 bucks. I believe. Let me take a look um, This wing hammer yep 35 bucks so Next one is Another gift for my son <laughs> um, 
So I feel very loved and I'm very appreciated. Thank you very much, William. Now this thing, I usually always use my six and one tool, whatever, um, screwdriver, even though I have tons of screwdrivers. So this one here is, uh, you know, a beefy, beefy version of, uh, you know, the screwdriver. I don't have the other one handy, unfortunately. Oh, yes, I do. Cool. So, typically, this is the one I use, the Buck Brothers one. Um, but to put it to show comparison, there's just no comparison. So, um, not sure if there's been any reviews on that yet or not. I'll tear into that one. If there's not, I'll take a look around. So, look forward to that. Uh, so then ah here's a good one pick these up so I have a lot of screwdrivers however um, I don't have any diamond tip and there's some things that I, I end up working on that I just I don't want to damage the finish on the screws I don't want to cam out um, so Hard Knocks Forge, he did it. He had some craftsmen, I think they were, and I got me looking and, uh, you know, so I, I ended up coming across these, these at Home Depot. These were, I paid $10 for them. They were, they were on sale. Um, they're back up to like 15, but they, they go on and off sale often. So I'll show you the, if you're interested in diamond tip, that's the, uh, one zero zero two six two nine five five four and uh, take a look they got decent reviews too and uh, so these I'm hoping will be you know everything that they're they're promoting uh, next some people seen on um, some of the the uh, Facebook web pages garages man caves and sheds um, I posted this this was like a deal alert type thing um, I think I paid 10 bucks for it I don't know if I'll ever ever use it I've had it for a while haven't opened it um, it's a 3 8 uh, butterfly impact wrench and uh, again <laughs> no idea if I'll ever use it but I could see in certain applications how it would be useful There you go. Um, another good one. Before we get to that, this one here. This was like six bucks in Home Depot, and again, I keep finding myself in these tighter areas where you know I just need a little bit of light, and you know. Being able to leave it, lean up against something, and keep a floodlight and, a, and the engine bay or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, would be, you know, very handy. 220 lumens. You actually don't have to worry about whitewash and everything because you can actually have too bright of a flashlight. Um, so there's that. Another funny discovery is I sold my Marquise. I had a, a Grand Marquise, sold it, and I was cleaning it out and uh, came across this. Apparently I bought this around Christmas time because it's not even listed anymore. And uh, I remember these were like 10 bucks. The reason why I bought it was because of this flex shaft with the light at the end. Um, I think Husky has a couple versions now. Seems like Husky pushed out the Defiant name um, on a lot of their flashlight stuff, and uh, which is cool. So, like I said, like 10 bucks. Maybe they'll come out with another version for our Christmas time. Um, and then for the girls, and my son too, I'm not judging. Um, you know, we're getting towards the end of the summer. It's, uh, you know, going to be getting dark earlier. 
when, next time we do some outdoor activities, this is like a little slingshot. You can get some of these at um, uh, Home Depot, I'm about to say Harbor Freight, and uh, they're like five bucks right now. So I think that's what I paid too. Um, they're still available. This was a Christmas time thing that I just I picked up, put aside, and then, uh, you know, just forgot about it until I was going through some stuff. So you launch them up in the air, they light up, should be fun. And from Home Depot, last but not least, is probably my favorite. I've used this already. This is from Ryobi. This is called a water broom, and it attaches to your power washer. And the idea is you hook it up to your power washer, pressure washer, and it shoots upwards. So you clean underneath your truck, the Jeep, get the salt, mud, everything off those hard to reach places. It rolls real good. Um, I ended up using it to clean the driveway and it worked pretty good on that too. Not quite like um, the round uh, disc, but it still made the job a little bit more fun and, uh, and interesting. But for the truck and the Jeep, this is where it's at. This was 40 bucks. Um, you have to order it online. I don't think they carry it on the shelf anywhere, but it came real quick. Picked it up in the store, no problems. Uh, let me see if I can get you is there a part number. I don't know that there is a part number. So it does up to 3300 PSI in case anybody was wondering. And I don't quite see. There's a part number. Okay. 1002 225 133. And in Canada, I guess that must be the metric one. <laughs> I don't know why they have two different SKUs. Same company. Um, that's interesting. Maybe you can explain that to me, Bruce L. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Harbor Freight, which you guys know I love Harbor Freight. Um, seen some reviews with this. Uh, Struggleville, I think, did a, um, a review. Uh, then I think, um, I know a few other people did. Um, Mr. Something Basic 215, he's got a great channel also. Um, I, I believe he did a um, review, but if he didn't, he still, has got a, he still has a great channel. Check him out. Um, another... Harbor Freight, and I just picked it up because it was five bucks, so uh, that was another thing. Bearded Yakin, love that man, great channel, uh, right here, he got one of these, um, so I went and picked one up. This is a 12 inch magnetic tray, it uh, has a little screwdriver, Holder on the outside, which is kind of flimsy, and I'll show you how I overcame that. Uh, and then this was ten bucks, and then of course you get your twenty or twenty-five percent off coupon. Knocks it down to eight bucks or seven fifty plus tax. Great, great, great investment. Um, in fact, I'll show you real quick if you'll bear with me how I used mine. So, this is what I did with mine. So, I painted it black. This is from Brad's Workbench. Another great channel. Tool haul videos, tool restoration, um, all kinds of projects. Uh, this guy does a, a weekly video. So, you know, go check his channel out, Brad's Workbench. Um, but this is the, uh, the tray. So, here what I did was, um, so some more of the things that I did was I painted the, uh, the unit black 
the uh, magnetic tray and uh, you know it's not perfect you can see here you know as you use it, it just chips off I mean it's only spray paint um, this is a quick scuff scuff and paint uh, modifications just to gussy it up a little bit I put this uh, it's the SUV car door edge trimming you know chrome from like AutoZone um, you know just kind of dress it up a little bit and then uh, inside I put the um, Husky drawer liner that I always use for just about everything um, this is where I keep my phone for streaming and whatever this is from like the dollar store it works uh, old school iPad iPod rather and uh, you know it's in there I just did some spray glue that way you know your keys or your uh, your phone in there it doesn't make a lot of noise uh, what are the other challenges with um, these that I've seen and experienced myself is the screwdriver um, the, the slots for them so they just it's just a, a piece of metal bent um, no real thought I was trying to think of uh, ways to overcome it because when you put the screwdriver in oh, this one's too big but when you put the screwdriver in it just kind of flops all over the place so what I did was I just took two magnets that you can get at Harbor Freight um, these I took out of my magnetic tool toolbar and then uh, I put them on there just magnetically and voila there you go so it works um, some of the other thoughts I had was just taking a light piece of wood you know a thin piece of wood and uh, screwing it to the bottom of this having it stick out to the end making the holes so that you have you know an easy way to do that to hold the screwdrivers that's my solution with the magnets it works um, and uh, that's what I've done so far highly recommend it I love it I use it all the time and uh, since we're here it's magnetic so it just pops off As you can see this is the original color it was um, and when I need to close my cart I just put it right here on the side and close the the cart and we're good to go so that is my uh, tray thanks to bearded yakin um i don't have much more harbor freight though you know i went and uh safety glasses and, and I have plenty of sunglasses uh, this is the free item I got I love these things I don't know why but if I lose them I don't really care and I've lost probably half a dozen um, struggleville.net if you go on to his website or he has an app you can download to Android phones um, he has coupons uh, this was a dollar ninety nine cents um, just so I don't confuse anybody, these were 99 cents a piece. And with the coupon, you can get up to eight of them. So I just went and got, you know, eight of them. Because between my son and I, um, we just grab them, we put them down, we forget. These are great, uh, especially when you're in low light areas. Um, but they scratch real easy and I haven't found a good spray um, for you know scratch resistance if anybody knows of any good spray please leave it in the comments below and uh, you know, I'd really appreciate that um, you know, this thing here these are the new style too this is uh, the LED one strip or whatever versus like the Cob lights. I like it. 
Uh, this is another item from Harbor Freight that I don't see, I haven't seen really on any other channel. Nobody really talks about it uh, on a vlog or, or any of the um, Facebook pages or Instagram or whatever. But So I'm not going to open it here, but definitely want to share with it because, like I said, um, it's the storehouse wire storehouse from Harbor Freight. It was, so as you can see, let's see if I can get it in the camera here. Um, you get all this wire, it's 400 feet of wire total. And then here, which it doesn't really show on the camera too well, but it shows the different gauges and how many feet of each wire you get. So, you know, the 18 gauge, you're getting 38 feet. Of uh, the 20 gauge, you're getting 62. Um, you know, your different colors. The gauges you get are 22, 20, 18, and 14, 12, and you're getting speaker wire, you're getting uh, bell wire, uh, so forth and so on. So, all your little odds and end projects are covered. Um, it's forty dollars, and then I got it with uh, the twenty-five percent off coupon, which brought it down to thirty dollars. I'm going to open this up, do a um, you know first, do an unboxing and, and an impression type of uh, review because obviously I haven't used it yet. But it certainly seems like it's worth the money, uh, you know. Of course, the, the original wiring is always best, but if you're in a jam, this will get you out of a jam. Plus, it'll be available, nice, tidy, you know, neat way to store it. So, so far, looks like it was a good buy. But last, and certainly not least, is my I don't know what I have like a an addiction of some sort to tools of course but you know I like my toolboxes and I love my tool stations and from Lowe's I bought this yep so this is on clearance right now for, I think it's 116 bucks. My lows and many other lows, they have it for different prices. From what I've been told, even if you just go up and ask the manager, they'll knock it down even lower. Um, and they have this on display, and this thing is heavy duty. It's really cool. There's the item number, 081108. It has a, on the top there, that's actually um, a lid that goes up on a hinge so you can store stuff in there. It's got a pegboard in the back. Uh, it folds out and then folds up and away tight to the wall when you don't need it. The dimensions are 45 wide and 24, almost 25 inches high. Or am I saying that wrong? Uh, well, I think off the ground it's only 62 and a half is what they're trying to say. But uh, the legs are adjustable, so you can set it at different heights on your wall um, accordingly. But I may be quoting those dimensions wrong. But anyways. Uh, this is going to go here. All that stuff's going to go down. So, because I love all my different workstations, um, they had this on display showing it's where they kept their uh, power tools and all. So, cordless tools, rather. So, I might do that. And you've been with me this far. 
thank you very much. Before you go, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, you know a handful of uh, channels. So, of course, Wrench Trench Garage, and then you know I've already told you about his channel, the uh, Bearded Yakin, of course. He does great live streams, tool reviews, tool hauls, uh, all the above. Mr. Something Basic 215. Brad's Workbench, as I mentioned, he's got a lot of good things going on. Another channel is I Know As Bueno. He, uh, him and I went back and forth a few times. Um, you know, he's got a good channel going on. Uh, Modern Day Tinkerer. Marco Gutierrez, Drew's Auto, Sick With It, Nick Windsor, Brian Toscano, the guy live streams all the time. It's a good place to go and uh, see other channels and uh, you know, talk to those guys. Bruce L., my Canadian brother, that guy, he's always doing something um, really cool in his garage. Uh, you know, he turns wrenches and does. Uh, cool projects in the backyard and uh, I'm sure there's many many others that I'm forgetting and those guys I, I apologize uh, Chris M uh, Luke's amateur hour and his reviews never take an hour uh, Juan Hinosa and of course last but most certainly not least Cat Loco's Garage one of my favorite channels him and I we go back and forth and do um, the, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, tool hauls and, and he goes way beyond anything I do with, uh, he does the junkyard diaries, which are really cool. Um, you know, all kinds of things. He's going to be getting into making his own speaker boxes, uh, for sound equipment in cars. So check his channel out, check all those guys channels out and, uh, thanks for watching.